What's good, beautiful people? So, have you ever asked yourself the minimum salary wage for foreign workers in Qatar? Hmm. Let's find out together. Guys, in 2017, Qatar set a minimum wage for all foreign workers. That is, let me say, unskilled workers. So, it's going to be very easy and very relatable. Basic salary should be 1,000 per month. 500 should be allocated for accommodation. And then 300 for food. But trust me, upon all these things being said, some companies are still paying very low, which I find them very disappointing. But would you blame the company or would you blame the workers? Right, let's get into it. So every well-established company, not just in Qatar, but almost all around the world, before you, know, you get employed by a particular company, they serve you with an offer letter. So in this offer letter includes uh, how much you are going to be paid, uh, how long you have to work until you know you get a vacation and whether your vacation is going to be a paid vacation or you know just those kind of vacations oh it's two years so you need to book your own ticket back to your return country or wherever that you came from now luckily for most companies in Qatar over here um, contracts over here are automatically renewed if, you know both parties uh, don't say anything about it they get renewed but one thing that you need to understand about this salary issues that we're talking about over here is that most of these salaries should be bargained before contracts are being signed. So let's say you know that according to the catalog, you are supposed to be paid 1000 That's the minimum salary um, you know, range. And then you find out in your contract that they are going to be paid 900 or even lesser than that. Because I know people who are still earning 750 Qatarians in this country, in this era. Now, I've been here for half a decade now, and I know this country is extremely expensive. So if you're paying someone less than 1500 I'm just imagining how this person is going to survive. So now let's cut that bullshit. Now, let's talk about the salary. So imagine you get your contract and your salary doesn't meet your expectation or you think you are worth more than what is being written on the salary, and I mean, on the contract. You can begin it before you even sign the contract. Don't sign a contract with the ideology of, you know, salary getting increased. Most people live here all their lives and their salary never ever gets increased. So in this case, if you find out that your salary is less than what Qatar is asking you to be given, what can you do? Now, I will show you. You can complain or you can report this issue to the ministry of, you know, I'm just going to put it on the screen. So you can report to them. But mind you, before you report, make sure you know your rights or make sure you have some money that you've saved. Because guess what? After reporting, your company is completely going to kick you out. Because most companies over here, you report them and the next minute, You'll be on the next flight going back to your country or they'll just kick you out even within the next 24 hours yes now however with all this being said companies might still you know try to beat the system and pay you less yeah so you can complain to them now most companies might choose to pay you 1200 or 1300 now that's above the average right because averagely they should be paying you 1000 plus 500 accommodation and then 300 for food now, if your company gives you food and still pays you over 1000 just know that yeah, they are doing something right. But if you feel like you are worth more than what they are giving you and you still want to complain and you still want to, you know, fight with your company, it's not a good idea. Because mind you, there are a lot of people who are like on a pending list. They want a job. So if you're lucky enough and you find yourself in a company that at least is paying you something that, you know, corresponds with the law of Qatar, then I think... You don't have any problem you you don't even have to complain about that you just need to sit your ass down and pray for better days or pray for rainy days yes so my name is malik sterling and if this is your first time seeing me kindly make sure to subscribe uh if you have any other questions just leave them in the comment section then we will tackle it if you have any other thing you would want me to talk about any video you would want me to share my opinion on yes just leave in the comment section and uh we will enlighten ourselves and uh, if you think what i've said you would want to add more or you would want to you know correct me if i had made any other mistakes you can just put it in the comment section and you know we are learning each and every day no one is perfect so stay safe if you're in qatar we can link up uh, my whatsapp number it's in my bio you can link up and you know let's have conversative and um stay safe don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and i love you all bye bye